I may briefly introduce myself? Whiskers. Scott Whiskers. Since I think we'll spend quite a while together, and I already like you pretty well, I would like to apologise briefly. You surely expected an elaborate cutscene. Well, all that would cost trillions of bucks and my creator is honestly a pretty poor fellow. In fact, he thinks you should be happy that the game is even available in more than 256 colours. Furthermore, this game also has a certain educational mission. And it's meant to give my teenage audience an impression of how Grandpa experienced adventure games back in the early 90s, shortly after the invention of the second mouse button. And since historical authenticity is more important than gameplay, the game will now run in high resolution 320 by 240 pixels. Have fun! Nah, don't worry, just kidding. Of course I want you to use your 8K monitor to its full potential. So bygones be bygones and let's just get on with it. You probably know how to play an adventure game right, it's really quite simple. It's best to take a look at the controls first. You don't have to memorise the controls now, of course. Unless you have a photographic memory, then I congratulate you. Unfortunately, I can only remember things for a maximum of 5 minutes. That's why it's good I can always look up the controls in settings. Hmm. Where was I again? Ah oh, yes. For example, if, say, a phone suddenly starts ringing, tap your finger on the phone. Select the hand icon in the action menu and use the phone. And if you're in a hurry, just double tap quickly and I'll run like hell to fulfill your wish. <clears throat> I said when a phone suddenly starts ringing. <clears throat> Hey Mary, sure, just struggled to get out of bed. What's up, isn't it my day off? Uh, yes, I know, and I am sorry, but we're having a medium-sized crisis here at the shelter. A crisis? Have you locked yourself out of the computer again? I told you your new password. No, no. Scott is great. I noted. Is this about Grumpy Chucky? Is he still miffed because I fed his arch rival first yesterday? Oh, Chucky is a sweetheart again. Has only cost me a brand new Valyrian mouse. My problem is that your colleague Jack has called in sick. Again! And I'm all alone here, and could use a hard-working helper like you. Flattery in the early morning. As much as I would like to help you, I have my day off today. I have nothing planned yet, but once I think of what I have in mind, it will certainly be great. Can you ask no one else? Scott? Mm, please? Your last name starts with a W, making you the last on my short list of helpers to ask. If not for me, then do it for Chucky. And who knows? Maybe you'll get to play with his Valyrian mouse someday. Hmm, you have convincing arguments. Alright, even though I know that probably a bloodbath and no intoxicating mouse awaits me in the cat room, I can't refuse you anything, as usual. Give me an hour or so, then I'll be there. Thank you very much. You are the best. An hour, you say? That still gives me time to buy some cat food at the pet store. See you soon! See you later! Oh, Mary. She is a sweetheart, but as the manager of the local animal shelter, she's always trying to do too much and save the world. But I can understand her. I've grown fond of the furballs in the shelter too. Except for Chucky. That stupid cat can be quite an a** sometimes, and I'm pretty sure he's out to get me. I finally got around to washing the dishes from the last few months. This door leads to my bathroom. My microwave. It's a pretty old one, but it does its job.
clean and tidy, as it should be. It's been August for 11 months. I just like the cute raccoon. He reminds me a little of my uncle. My bed. I've got an expensive ergonomic mattress for it. The worst decision of my life. Oh, my doorknob! It will probably forever remain a mystery how this thing got into my bed. I've probably been sleepwalking again. I should put the door handle back on the door. The charging cable for my cell phone. Unfortunately, the switch is broken. The light's been on ever since. The first rays of sunshine of the day. My closet. There are mainly my cosplay costumes for science fiction conventions in it. All in all, I'm quite a good looking fellow. My shower, because personal hygiene is important. No need, I just took a shower this morning. Looks almost clean. And by almost, I mean, yeah, I'd better clean the toilet again. The flush of my toilet. Use at your own risk. The soothing sound of something important in the toilet. It's like a glove. Mm, should I wander around the city on foot? No, I don't really want to do that. And I don't have a ticket for the bus. Mm, should I wander around? This door leads to the hallway. I actually feed myself exclusively on cooked pasta. I finally got around to Should I wander around the city on foot? No, I don't really want to do that. And I don't have a ticket for the bus. It looks like it's made of wood, but I'm not fooled. I wonder if I'll fit in there. My closet. The cable fits all sorts of devices. Did I mention that I like raccoons? Looks very neat. Here's looking at you, Scott. I've read somewhere that multiple daily showers are unhealthy.
I wonder what adventures await me behind this door. I feel like Alice in Wonderland. It looks like it's made of... Mm, should I wonder... Not necessary. The cell phone is fully charged. No. Maybe have another idea. Unfortunately, this does not work. This doesn't work. No, just no. No, just no. The flickering mirror light drives me crazy. I still need my cell phone, even though this experiment would be quite appealing. Unfortunately, if I have it running for more than five minutes, the fuses in the entire house blow out. I still need my cell phone. Even though this... Wouldn't it be great if that had worked now? But, unfortunately, it didn't. Unfortunately, this does not work. This doesn't work. Mm, should I wander around the city on foot? No, I don't really want to do that. And I don't have a ticket for the bus. Is that my bus ticket? Must have fallen out of my pockets. The ticket's soaking wet. I can't show it to anyone. I can't show the soaking wet and slightly smelly bus ticket to a bus driver. If only I could dry it somehow. Better not. I don't want another upgrade. And in you go. Sizzle, sizzle. Yikes. But as we all know, the end justifies the means. Cell phone collected? Check. 
Unpleasant smelling bus to get on me? Check. Ready for an adventure? Check. Then off to the animal shelter to bury my leisure plans for this weekend in the litter box. Oh, drat! I've left my phone on the bus! My beloved iCell 8 SE Pro! So this is it? After eight years together? Just like that? Without warning? I feel like an important part of myself has been ripped away! I feel... almost naked. I feel... very cold. Deep sorrow. Endless suffering. And also a little anticipation for the new iCell 12 Pro which I will buy with the insurance money. But if I'm unlucky, some nice passenger might have left the phone with the bus driver. I can pick it up later. I mean if I'm lucky, of course. If I'm lucky! The animal shelter. Fairy feet. I volunteer here from time to time. Mainly because I get to pet cats and dogs for free. I better get right back to Mary. I'm sure there's a lot to do. Oh, Scott. How nice. There you are. You can't believe how happy I am that you didn't leave me hanging here today. No problem. I'm happy to help. Are you still busy creating profiles for our residents on our website? Yes. You wouldn't believe how much work it is. We had so many new arrivals lately. And after all, each of our two to eight-legged friends should be presented in the best light. And since Jack is absent today, the rest of the work is unfortunately left undone. Do you have any particular requests what I should do or just the usual? It would already suffice if you could tidy up the hallway a bit and feed our cats. I will take care of everything else when I have finished writing the profiles. So first swing the broom and then the predator feeding. You got it. I better get to work right away too. Thank you very, very much. You are the best. I would not disagree with that. Syrian headache tablets, the strongest on the market. Maybe I better get my work done first. There's plenty of time for that afterwards. An artistic image of a steppe landscape with mountains in the background. I think I really need a vacation again. And then I want to go exactly where this picture was drawn. Riding on a wild horse with blowing hair towards the mountains and the sunset. Now I just have to learn to ride a horse. This looks like a cat missing flyer. I wonder who's missing? Maybe I better get my work done first. There's plenty of time for that afterwards. Extra strong stun darts for large animals. Because you never know if you'll run into a lion or elephant in the rural regions here. This looks like dry cat food. Since the mice gnaw holes in the food bags in the storeroom, I always leave a trail of dry food on my way to feed the cats. Good. You should always carry a bit of cat food in your pocket. the dog sanctuary of the shelter. It's pretty muddy in the outdoor courtyard. At the moment, however, all of our dogs are housed in the outdoor enclosure, where they can let off steam and make some noise. 
This allows me to concentrate more on our velvet paws two rooms away. The Realm of Rodents The cat room of the animal shelter. A chewing bone made of rubber for dogs. No idea how this one ended up in the cat's room. The velvet paws are much too clever for such clumsy toys. Good. Less intelligent animals than the noble creatures in this room can probably use the rubber bone more. The food bowl is empty. I better feed the kittens soon. Meow. Me? Melee Island. Me, me. Chucky. Good talk. This is Cuddly Jimmy. He's my absolute favourite, and if my apartment wasn't so tiny, I would have adopted him long ago. Jenny doesn't want to talk right now. She's daydreaming again. Dreamy Jenny's a great cat and deeply relaxed 24 hours a day. After the Christmas holiday massacre, Chucky and I have nothing more to say to each other. Grumpy Chucky is a constant threat to my life. Oh no, I'm not tired of living. I don't want to disturb her. She looks so peaceful when she looks dreamily out of the window. Good kitten. Snakes and amphibians. A daring combination. Spiders and insects. Yuck! My own personal cabinet of horrors. The storeroom of the animal shelter. Our cats just look at me stupidly when I come to them with a utensil from these boxes. The toy is beneath them. A very ordinary DIY hammer. It is unbelievable what danger emanates from this marvel of technology. As the great contemporary poet MC Hammer once sang, it's hammer time. The animal shelter relies on food donations. Unfortunately, the money from the city is not enough. I think I should be able to clean the floor of the hallway with it. Good, now get to work.
clean work. Good work, Scott. One less death trap. You can't see it, but on the side facing the wall, the bags have a few holes. A few mice have discovered the cat food as a tasty snack for themselves. If you've ever had a mouse hanging onto your index finger for five minutes, you know how dangerous four large incisors can be. Since then, I leave the professional feeding of the little monsters to Mary. Maybe I better get my work done first. There's plenty of time for that afterwards. Back again? Is there anything else I can do for you? That was all. Bye. See you soon. If I don't feed the cat soon, I'll have to fear for my life. Slowly, I'm getting hungry too. Perfect. I think my work here is done. I better tell Mary the good news right away and get my well-deserved praise from her. Back again? Is there anything else I can do for you? He's still looking for the man of your dreams. Yes, unfortunately. You wouldn't believe how hard it is for a single woman with eight cats to find the right man. Eight cats? When there's seven just a fortnight ago. That's right. But who is counting? Another little soul sneaked into my heart and decided to stay. I could not deny it. One would think that a soul as good as yours would have found a suitable male counterpart long ago. Lovely for you to say that. I'm just afraid that, as far as my taste in men is concerned, is not in harmony with my good soul. I'm more into the bad boys, you know. A wild street fighter who doesn't care about the rules and knows how to get by in life. An outlaw, for whom only the law of love counts. A vagabond, who feels only connected to his girl. A fugitive who flees into the arms of his beloved submissively. A pirate ready to sail into the harbor of marriage. A bully who makes a racket to preserve the honor of his spouse. Try finding a man like that. Challenge accepted. I'll keep my eyes open for you. Well, color me intrigued. If you find one, you know where I am. And if the subject comes up, I currently only have seven cats. Number eight should then be a surprise. My relationship guide says that men love surprises. Is there anything else on your mind? Will Jack be back soon? I certainly hope so. Even though he officially called in sick, I could hear the Star Trek theme loud and clear in the background of our phone call. So I think he'll be fine by the end of the season. 
Yeah, that sounds like Jack. The only thing he loves more than four-legged friends are his TV shows. It's a good thing you have no use for such distractions. Ever since my television stopped working, I've become a completely new person. Whereas before, I was trapped in endless reruns of Starship Enterprise the next century. Now, I explore the galaxy on my own. I'd almost call it a spiritual experience. Life without TV is possible. Hallelujah! Oh, you are an inspiration to us all. And while we're at it, don't forget about the Netflix evening planned at Jack's this Friday. The new episode of Starship Discovery is on. Of course. What else could I do? My TV's broken. Jack's isn't. The TV you no longer miss? <laughs> That's the one. So Friday then, at Jack's. Yep. Is there anything else on your mind? Will Jack be back soon? I even. Yeah, that's. It's a. Ever since. Where? I'd all. Life with. Oh, you are an ins. And what? Of course. The TV you. That's the. Yep. Is there anything. I proudly report the completion of my work. All done. Well done. And since you're still alive. You must have survived your reunion with Grumpy Chucky well. Yeah, today everything went well. Nevertheless, the cat urgently needs therapy to get his aggressiveness under control. Ideally with concomitant drug therapy for immobilization. My grandpa's been getting marijuana on prescription for a while now and he's been super relaxed since. Are you seriously suggesting drugging the cat? I'm open to anything that serves the common good. And let's be honest, Chucky is a danger to the common good. Especially my common good. I can show you again the scars on my arm where the cat swung back and forth for five minutes like on a tree swing. That was certainly a painful affair. Still, I'm in favor of trying a while longer with love and understanding. Very well, you are the boss. But if you should ever find me bleeding in the cat room with my throat slit, know that my vengeful spirit will haunt you forever. I will deal with that when the time comes. Is there anything else on your mind? What's new? Do we have any new additions to the shelter again? Yes. Unfortunately, someone left a small box with a dachshund puppy in front of our front gate again last night. With a note, please take care. Oh no, the poor little fellow. Of all dogs, dachshunds are my favorite. In another life, these intelligent mouse hunters would probably have become cats. I have often thought about what a cross between a dachshund and a cat would look like, and what it would be called. Cat dachshund. Dachshund cat. Cathund. Or dax cat. I think further considerations are necessary for a final evaluation. Anyway, I think I'm rambling. I really hope this little guy makes it and finds a new home quickly. Yes, that would be nice. He is now in quarantine for a week and will then join the rest of the pack. Surely he won't be our guest for long. Small, fluffy dachshund puppies are popular with 7 to 27 year olds. I think so too. I'll also create a profile for our newcomer on our website. Is there anything else on your mind? That was all. Bye! See you soon! <laughs>